The People's Democratic Party PDP Presidential Campaign Council says it has asked a court of competent jurisdiction to declare Bola Tinubu, standard bearer of the All Progressives Congress APC, ineligible to contest the election. In a media conference on Monday in Abuja, Kola Olagmondinho, spokesperson of the PDP campaign, said the forfeiture of funds by Tinubu to the U.S. government shows that the com he committed infractions that should disqualify him from running for election. Over the past few days, court papers about the forfeiture case of funds traced to, the, traced to someone named Bola Tinubu connected to proceeds of narcotics trafficking in the U.S. surfaced online. The presidential candidate of the New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, Rabio Kwankuso, has urged the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to ensure that the upcoming elections are credible, citing the 2019 gubernatorial election in Kano, which was won by Governor Abdullahi Ganjude. Kwankuso said that the election was shameful, alleging that his party won the election in the state. He said this during the second presidential town hall meeting organized by the University of Abuja, tagged midwifing a new Nigeria. We have decided, and is there in our blueprint, that we tackle the issue of insecurity. We are very angry that today, as we are sitting here, we have so many people, young men and women being kidnapped, maybe being planted. We will not only get security in that, but we give an opportunity for the young men and women to serve this country as members of the armed forces, members of the police, members of the DSS, and so on. You see, I have no problem with accepting uh, losing election. The best way to accept 2023 election is by doing the right thing, free, fair, and of course, credible election. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.